Hello, my name is Jonathan Davidson. I work here at Berry Hill Irrigation and today I'd like to talk to you about different types of drip irrigation. So today I'd like to talk to you about the different types of drip irrigation and how you'll decide which one's right for you. You can purchase this material in different thicknesses and so if you had a one-year application you would choose a thinner material than if you had a permanent application for something like an orchard crop. The thinner material typically people use for one or two seasons and then discard and then there's also material that's kind of in between might be a 10 mil or a 15 mil they might get three to five seasons out of that and then you'd have a permanent um, tubing like this here that'll last 40 years or more the next part when you're deciding on your drip irrigation will also be the spacing so we have to think about the spacing of the crop but also the soil type and the soil type tends to be the biggest factor in this if we have really sandy soil you might like to have something with a closer spacing where if we had a clay soil the water will spread out further and so we can go with a spacing on the emitters that's further apart the next step that you want to decide on is if you have rolling land or elevation changes in the field. Some of the drip tubings can handle that and actually put the exact same amount of water at the top of the uh, field as you would have down below. So one of the other things when you're deciding which drip tubing to use is also going to be the length of the runs that you need to make. All of this in this sample here is 5 8 inch drip tape but they do make larger tubings to go further so Typically these are used in five to 600 foot long runs. You can get a, some with a little bit further run and a little bit lower flow rates. But basically they're all gonna be in that range. If you need to go further than that, we go to a larger drip tubing. One other consideration to make when you're choosing your tubing is gonna be the different flow rates that you uh, purchase the tubing at. So you have different spacings, you have different thicknesses, and you also have different flow rates. If you're trying to water a lot of acres with a smaller amount of water, you can go to a lower flow rate and that'll allow you to spread out your water and water more at one time. Where if you choose a higher flow rate, you'll have to water in smaller sections and that might be what you want, but you have to keep that in mind when choosing the tubing. So lastly, we have some customers that would like to be able to put the emitters onto the tubing where they would desire. What this allows you to do is to have any spacing on your drip irrigation tubing at different flow rates. The different colors designate what flow rate they're going to use and the different, all, the, all of these emitters will put out an exact amount of water um, as long as you have more than six pounds of pressure. So to add these to the tubing, you take a punch tool like this and you simply make a hole into the tubing like this. It, lots of times they'll have two barbs, a large barb and a small one. The large barb always goes into the large tubing. The smaller barb would be to allow you to go off to a separate area, to a pot or over to another bush or something like that. But that's how they're all installed. As long as you have over six pounds of pressure in the tubing, they'll put out the exact same amount of water for each one. 